Well, I want to tell you about a story I read. There was a story in Forbes magazine around Christmas, and it basically said the Chinese company Alibaba is to Amazon what Amazon was to Sears. Now, this makes a lot of sense, right? This, this is a kind of a one-to-one -one correlation. And the article was basically saying on November 11th, Friends Day, Alibaba sold $25 billion dollars. Right, worth of, worth of merchandise. And uh, during Black Friday, Amazon sold about a quarter of that. So the point they were saying is Alibaba's the new model and Amazon was the new model to Sears. But I want to say, you know what? How you tell a story really matters because the moral of the story is very different. I want to take umbrage with that and say Sears actually got to the future way before anybody else did. Does anybody remember when email started? It was a company called CompuServe, right? Sears. Anybody remember where industrial investing started uh, in, a, in, a, in a consumer way? It was called Dean Witter. Incidentally, their child was called Morgan Stanley, right? Anybody remember what happened with commercial real estate when it became available to you and I? It was called Caldwell Banker. What's the first card that had benefits and cash back? It was Discover Card. What's before Geico? What was the first insurance company to bundle? It was Allstate. Before eBay, what was the first trading, to trading portal on the web? It was called Prodigy. Some of the older guys are going, yeah, that's right. The moral of the story isn't that Sears didn't get there first. Sears got there first. What they did was they didn't know how to think about it differently. Let me tell you what we learned from Sears. First of all, lack of focus. See if you can relate, Airman. Too many things, too many people, too many moving parts. Two, unrealistic timelines. We're going to have innovation now, instant innovation. Doesn't work that way, does it? Surrendering to external pressures. There's always a hater. There's always somebody on you, right? Always, that's the nature of the world. Failure to integrate and synchronize. I want you to think about all the innovation assets you have at the Air Force. How do they go together? How do you actually use them in war fighting, right? The old guard waiting out the new. The way it worked in Sears is you ran a store. And if you ran a store, you know, the whole notion was that was the way to the top. And so all the new people, all well, you young people out there, what they did was they waited you out. Oh, he'll rotate out in two years. That'll be the end of that. Yeah, oh, a, little, a little early? Sorry. Finally, pursuing the past. Yes, you have a glorious history. That's why I'm here. I love you. You have a wonderful history. But it's not about your history. The worst of all strategies is an increasing share of a decreasing market. The Worthington Saddle Company of Hartford, Connecticut made two million saddles in 1900. They're the best saddle maker in America. They made 10,000 saddles last year. You can't pursue the past. The trouble with the world is not that people know too little, it's that they know so many things that just aren't so.